Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be showing you um, like my full shop. Um, after I did my charities haul and my home bargains BM, um, a couple of people were like curious as to what like I would buy at Asa. Um, so I kind of fancied making a video showing you like what a typical like week's full shop would be. Um, so normally I do a quick and collect every Sunday or Saturday depending on what I'm up to um, and I do like one full one every month so like when I get paid I would do like a full full shop of like everything that we needed and then like the weeks after it would be more like fresh stuff or like things that we needed for that week type of thing. Um, so yeah I've got all in front of me laid out here and um, so I'm just gonna jump right in and it's gonna be in like no particular order um taking these bags out of the way but yeah I I'm gonna include it as a rant but I'm gonna do that at the end and um, so if anyone did want to hear it then listen until the end so the first thing I'm gonna show you actually is like something that needs to go in the freezer so I'm gonna show you first um but white chocolate magnums Declan and I are obsessed with white chocolate magnums we buy them all the time and it's so rubbish because you only get like four so yeah they they go um really quick in the size but yeah white chocolate magnums thing that we get are yogurts i usually go for miller corners and um, so we got two so it's different flavors so we get uh we get we get uh, vanilla chocolate balls and banana chocolate flakes yuck and some banana no thanks then strawberry shortcake and milk chocolate digestives. I love the strawberry shortcake ones. Then the next thing, just a cucumber for the Declan sandwiches. I do not eat cucumber. And then I get for myself apple bags, just like pre-cut apples. And then I've got butter and marge. This is mine, this is Declan's because I would rather like eat my own fingernail than eat this. I hate it. Um, so this is the butter I like. So we get both because we don't agree. Um, next we've got cheese. So for a while I was buying the Cathedral City family pack um, because we go through so much cheese, but we both just much prefer this one. So this is the Seriously Strong a vintage cheddar so we just buy two and that equivalates equivocates two of these is like the same as one of the cathedral say family pack so we get that and then another fave in this house is halloumi i um, love 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 halloumi i would eat this with like every single meal if possible and then we also get diced uh, bacon Pancetta, whatever you want to call it. So this is the unsmoked lean diced bacon. I think you can get it smoked as well, but I always go for this one um, because I make carbonara quite a lot. So I get this and we get apple juice because we go through phases of like being really into apple juice and sometimes we don't, but right now we're in apple juice phase. Um, so then some boring stuff, just got some deodorant for Declan and then some shower gel for him so these ones are quite good they're quite cheap as well uh zingy lime and tingly mint and tea tree so yeah two of those and then we get rice we know i normally go for a golden vegetable for declan but as they didn't have any apparently so they subbed it for a uh, mixed pepper so i bought four of these um, I didn't get any rice for myself because I still got some, but I just get basmati because if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I'm really plain and boring and basic when it comes to things like that. So I'm just a basmati girl. And then we get uh, breaded ham, two of these for like Declan's work piece. Again, ham, something I would not touch with a barge pole. Um, only on pizza because it's cooked. I just hate it like that. Like that actually would me the fear. It took me a while to even like be willing to touch it to put it in sandwiches so yeah um and then we get this so a home pride pasta bake there's a wee bit of a story behind this this is tomato and bacon 
and I was obsessed. The only like pasta bake I would make would be um, spicy pepperoni and tomato, I think. And they've bloody done away with it, haven't they? So this one's like the closest one to it. So again, this is just tomato and bacon and I actually do really like it, but it's still, it's got, not got patch on the spicy pepperoni. And then next, this is relatively new, but I got like the older version of this. So this is like the old Al Paso pockets. So it's basically just like the little pouches for like your mints, your peppers, your lettuce, whatever you want to put in it. Um, but the older version was like, they look like boats. I think they're called sands and stuff. I'll have a look and I'll pop in a photo. Um, but like when you bit it, it would typically all just like fall down you. Um, so this has got like a bottom, um, as you can see, pockets. So it's really good because you can like mix all your stuff in a bowl and then like chuck it in and like almost like chomp it if that makes sense. So nothing falls out. So yeah, these are really, really, really good. And I love these kits um, from Old El Paso. So we've got like in the cupboard enchiladas, fajitas, like we've all always, always, always got some form of kit. Um, Next, uh, I've got this. This is just like a wee popcorn, a popcorn? Uh -huh, a chicken board with like popcorn chicken, southern fried chicken, goujons. Um, yeah, this is really good. And what I've just recently realized, there's like a bit in Asda, which is like three for 10. And it's unreal. You get like three things for 10, obviously. But it's like really good stuff. So I got this. And the other two things I got were... So the first other thing was this Malcolm Allen diced steak. Um, and I was buying this because I'm meal prepping for myself, um, beef, like, uh, yeah, like beef and noodles. Um, Declan has like chicken and rice, but I'm like over chicken. Um, like as a meal prep, I just find it really boring and I much prefer like red meat over like chicken anyway. So I started getting this. Well, actually, no, I was buying, um, just like diced mints no oh my god diced beef from asda but it was really chewy and like fatty and fat no and then i got this as a substitute and i was like really worried because it didn't say it was like less than five percent fat or like anything like that but it's unbloody real so this was a really good substitute i was happy with that and lastly i got uh some asda extra special sausages so i know these say two for four pound but what happened was I got the chicken box and the diced beef, but I ordered like 10 after extra special sausages, but they didn't have them. So when you do like a click and collect, they'll substitute stuff. So I got these two instead of my 10. So I actually scored two extra sausages. So happy with that. Then next we get always, always, always fresh eyed pasta. So this is just some tagliatelle, which I use for the carbonara with the diced um, bacon. Um, it looks half empty, but it's actually not, and this lasts so long. Fresh pasta usually has got such a good date on it. Like this, I'm filming this video on the 1st of May, and this is uh, not out of date until the 26th of May. So yeah, I love fresh egg pasta. They've got loads of this, so check out their fresh egg stuff. I love it. Then next, just some boring apples. And next, we've got some bananas. This is actually quite funny because they're Garden Gang um, bananas, which I think is like the kids range. This, so this is Garden Gang, eat like a superhero, eight brilliant bananas. But um, this was a substitute as well. Normally we buy like the loose organic bananas, um, but this was what they gave us. I mean, it's bananas, although it's got like packaging, which is unnecessary, but yeah. So bananas. And then we also buy uh, this, just some, diced chicken breast um and i was buying like the fresh stuff but we honestly find like this was just as good uh, and you get three bags for eight pounds so you get 600 grams in a bag 6 12 18 yeah 6 12 18 so you get 800 grams of chicken for eight pounds which i think is quite good and the one good thing about this as well you can actually cook this from frozen um, in the oven, pan, whatever you want. So for people like me that often forgets about things in the freezer, that's really, really handy. Then just some basic milk. Um, I quite like Bob milk, which is the yellow milk, but sometimes if I can't get that, we just go for 
the green, which is Sammy skin, skinned, Sammy skim, so some milk. Then onto bread, so Declan likes the whole this like seeded brown bread. I'm not really much of a bread hand, and um, we usually have bagels. So I, but if I was having bread, I'd have like white bread. Um, but we got these uh, Warbit and rolls. They're already pre-sliced, kind of like wee burger rolls, but they're perfect and they last. Like we were buying like the fresh rolls from the Asa Bakery and they were literally going green in like two days, which isn't ideal when Declan takes a sandwich like every single day. So these are really good. They stay fresh and they're pre-sliced because I just butcher slicing things. And then next, just got some toilet roll. I love this one. It is actually Asa's own brand, I think. Yeah, Asa Shades, but it's got coconut oil in it and it smells divine. Like it's really nice. You can honestly smell it like in your bathroom. It would be like an air freshener. Um, if you don't like coconut, obviously, don't get it. But yeah, I always get this and it's always on offer two for six pounds. So that's like, two packs, you get 18 rolls of blue roll for six pounds, which I think is quite good. And then we just went for a wee top up of kitchen roll, nothing specific. It is actually as a shades brand as well, but kitchen roll is kitchen roll. Well, it's it's not, but we're not fussy for kitchen roll because we don't really use it very much. But yeah, so we got that. And then next we got some eggs, free range, of course. So these are just the large eggs. So that one gets eggs um, from somebody at his work sometimes as well, but I like the large free range eggs. And next we've just got some honey. Love this honey. So this is for, if you've watched any of my vlogs and I've made the uh, sticky, the honey, what is it even called? It's like honey and chili lemon chicken or something. And um, so yeah, I just buy one of these every kind of now and then because it's a handy meal to make because you can just take out your chicken if you fancy it from the freezer, fire this in and you're good to go. Next, we've got some condiments. And um, so Declan likes the Nando's Pyrenees and um, mild sauce. I would, again, never catch me eating anything like this. So it's Nando's Pyrenees, Piri Piri Mayonnaise, mild folk i hate sauce anything like that but yeah well i say i hate it i just don't like yeah like he puts that on sandwiches or like with his chips and that's just a huge no from me um but one thing i did try which i've never ever bought before is this when i was looking at the nando stuff and uh, nando's like marinade marina i don't know how you say it it's lemon and herb so it's extra mild and i love anything lemon um, but I've heard really like mixed reviews. Some people say it's like really, really, really hot, but it's extra mild. So I don't know if that's true. But then some people say that they've marinated or marinated, whatever you say, and it's literally not tasted any different. So what does that actually tell you to do? Delicious things come to those who wait. For a best experience, pour half the bottle over 500 grams of chicken or meat and let it spend the night bathing. When you're ready, barbecue, grill, or cook till your heart's content. For a real pity pity punch, add an extra coat or two whilst cooking. Ah, so this is an overnight job. I'll be honest, I'll probably never use that because you have to be really organized for that. But I don't know, maybe I will. It's a nice idea. I thought I would try it. Then next is we just got some British cold press rapeseed oil because I really like cooking with oil. And yeah, this one's really good, as are extra special. Um, not really much to say about it really, but yeah, I like using that. Next. On the same theme as cooking, I just dropped that. And uh, just some Fry Light Butter One Calorie Spray. Um, so it's butter flavor, don't really know if it actually is, but yeah. Then also, for me, lemon juice. So this is literally like direct from the concentrate of a lemon. So it's like literally squeezing the lemon into a bottle. Um, and I just love it. I love, 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 love lemon juice. I think it's more for like cooking to be honest because it's in the bacon aisle if you if anyone does like lemon juice or strong lemon water. Um, but yeah, I go through a lot of these, but it's only like 30p. So I love it. I just love lemon so much. Then next, which I have to say I'm disappointed. I usually buy these like in B&M or whatever if they're on offer, but it was on offer in Asa, so I thought I'll just get it. But I didn't realize how bloody small it was, but 
these are very good. This is just the Lenore Unstoppables, like they're actually called in wash scent boosters. They're just like little kind of pods, not pods, but like pebbles. They just look like that. They're really good. I would recommend them. I really want to try. They've got like outdoors, which yeah, look, I'll show you one sec. So we got some wash and conditioner and this is the Lenore Outdoor, Outdoorable. So it's meant to smell like as though it was dry, like outside, so not like a tumble or on like a clothesline. line. Um, and they make these in this smell. So I really want to try that. And I love the Lenore um, Spring Awakening scent as well. So I'm gonna give these to a bash, just see if we get a nice fresh smell. Then next we've got just some sandwich bags, a bit boring. And then just some penny pasta because you can't go wrong with this type of pasta. And um, I do like the fresh egg version of this, but uh, sometimes it's just, I don't know, Dyke one likes this and I like the fresh, so just got to compromise sometimes. <laughs> um, and then we've got orange and pineapple diluting juice. Again, for Dyke, but I don't really drink diluting juice because I just drink my lemon and water. Then next, I just got some uh, Hartley's 10 calorie jelly. So we just buy like six or seven of these a week. Um, it's mostly strawberry and raspberry is the flavor that I've got. Next is just some Cadbury's brunch bars. They're just like chocolate and peanut little kind of um, cereal bar type things. Um, I love skinny whips, but you don't get those in ours, I don't think. I've never seen them. Um, so yeah, I would nip to be in them to get skinny whips. And then next we've got some white chocolate cookies from the Asa Bakery because I love anything like chocolate. And then for myself, for my meal prep, I've just got some noodles. So these are just some egg noodles um, to go with my beef. So kind of like a stir fry, if you like, minus a lot of the veg. So now we're on to the last. So now we're on to the last couple of things. Um, just some baby new potatoes. I normally buy the like two little packs of the extra special potatoes, um, but they didn't have any of those, so I just got these. But I mean, potatoes are potatoes, they'll probably just taste the same. And then I get, as always, some sugar snap peas because I love them, they're such a good like snack. Like, I know that sounds really odd for someone who's just said they don't really like veg, but the veg I like, I like. So I like sugar snap peas and some asparagus i love asparagus like with a steak if it's cooked in the pan with your steak and mm, so good but i normally just pop these in the oven and put some salt and pepper and sometimes parmesan on them and i love that then i uh, like i said i'm a bagel gal so i always get bagels i usually get the warburton's pre-sliced bagels so like the same as the rolls uh, but they also didn't have them for some reason um and it's really handy because they're like pre pre-sliced so I ended up with the New York um, Bakery Bagels one. But these are really good too. I just prefer the Werberton's ones because they are sliced. Now, only two things left to show you. So what's the Asda haul with all that pasta without our garlic bread? So this is just a three cheese flat bread. But I also really like the sun-dried tomato one, which is not like my vibe, but I really like it. And last but not least is just a pack of crisps. So no crisps in particular, it skips I got um, this week. Usually I just kind of get whatever is like on offer with a multi buy. Normally it's like a Walker's like mixed variety bag um, or Quavers or Monster Munch or something like that. But yeah, quite boring. Um, so yeah, so that is my, I say weekly shop. I would never ever buy all of this in a week. But this is like my stock up monthly shop, if that makes sense. So like the toilet roll, the kitchen roll, the kind of washing products, the um, oh whoops, the fry light, the oil, um, like conditioner, things like that that I don't buy all the time. But yeah, I normally like I said, do one shop a month. It's like a huge shop. Um, well, I say huge. It's not even that big, but for us. Oh, I actually forgot. This was the last thing. My mints. I was just a way to say, did I get any bloody mints? But no, I did. 
so this is just the um lean five percent mints i much prefer this i got one that was i think it was 15 or 20 percent fat just not intentionally and i i made spam ball with it and i was actually sick that night because it was just too much because i never ever eat fatty um beef normally kind of go to the butcher for like things like that but i do find like certain things in us that are really good and tesco's meat counter is really good as well but yeah that is my big shop for the month and every the next couple of weeks it'll just be like like i said fresh things for meals that are that we're making or if there's anything that like we fancy or that um so yeah but my little story about asda oh my god so if you ever click and collect um where i stay you may have experienced the slow service from asda like really really bad slow service from asda but today today was the cherry on top of the already dry and out of date cake let's put it like that so my shopping was booked today from four till five on a saturday i normally go on a sunday but it's may day tomorrow well may day sunday so i'm going out and um, so i was like right i'll get it tonight and i go i'm like yes there's no cars so there'll be a quick one i'll in and out so i got there at like three minutes past four so my slot was between four and five so i get to the guy and he was like well what's your name and he was like oh um your shopping's not ready and i was like well what do you mean it's not ready and he was like uh yeah it's not been picked yet and i was like what do you want me to say like that is like why i'm here <laughs> um and he was like yeah um can you come back and i was like no i can't come back this is my slot like it's a saturday night i'm wanting to go home like have a glass of wine with my tea like whatever i'm not coming back this is my slot and i was like i don't understand and the one thing that got me right well there's two but the one thing at this stage in the game that got me was uh about a month and a half ago as to introduce bleh, also introduce a fee so you now have to pay to reserve your slot to click and collect so bear in mind this is me driving to the actual shop not like home delivery whereas before it was free to book a slot you only paid if you wanted it delivered so that really bothered me in the first place i was like we're in the middle of a pandemic and now you're introducing a fee to like come and pick up your shopping so i was like if that was a thing like before the pandemic like okay like we can live with it it's only 50p right but i was like why is this new so i was like well no i i've paid for this slot and he was like oh well it's going to be at least 20 minutes and i was like really i was like okay well i'll just have to wait i've got no other choice because i'm not coming back this is my slot um and he was like well could you pull forward and out of the um loading bay for the cars like behind you and i was like I'm the only person here. I'll move if a car comes. So anyway, he, off he goes to have a wee investigate as to where my shopping was. And uh, 40 minutes later, my shopping appeared. I was sat there for 40 minutes. And if you've ever done click and collect, you'll know you get a text before your slot to tell you like what your substitutes were, or what they couldn't get because they couldn't get my chocolate pancakes. But anyway, so I got a text at 4.32. And I'd been there since three minutes past. So half an hour after I arrived, I got the text to say what my substitutes were. So I was like, so they've literally just gone and like picked my shopping right now. So they've obviously just missed it, which riled me because of how slow they are normally in the past. And the fact you've got to pay for it. So I was like, right, whatever. So like after I got the text, it was like 10 minutes after. So I guess from them like getting to the shop to me, it was like 10 minutes um and i also pay to get it back so you can pay an additional fee on top of your booking fee for your slot to have your shopping bagged so you don't have to like go down with your bags sorry it's shy and i know that sounds really lazy but it's like really handy and convenient for people that just forget the bags um so the shopping came and half of it wasn't bagged the bags were sat in the like wee crates that they come out with which annoyed me even more because like I say, you pay an additional fee for it to be packed and half of my stuff wasn't packed. And I was like, if I wanted to bag it, I would have taken my own bags. So literally it was just the most awful service. And then I called up the 
um, as a like phone number to complain because they've been on thin ice with me for a while with this click and collect. Um, and the girl was like, oh, um, but the shopping hasn't been processed so I can't like do anything about it. And I was like, that's why I'm calling. That's the problem. It's now 20 to five. My shopping was four to five. So you can come at any time in that slot. So I was here at four because I was keen for my shopping. And she was like, yeah, but it's not, it's not been like picked up or processed yet. And I'm like, this is why I'm phoning because that is the problem. It's 40 minutes after my slot. And yeah, it was just an absolute disaster. So I'm not really too sure. I personally, I'm still gonna use it because it is like handy, but I wouldn't recommend it to people um, in case they had a bad experience with it. But I don't know what like the home delivery, maybe that's better to try that, but I don't mind going to get it. It's just, that just annoyed me so much. Like 40 minutes on a Saturday night, I was like, so yeah, that's my drama. But this is now the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching if you've gone to the end of this really long video. Like I say, it was a little bit different for me, but a couple of people did say that they would quite like to see what I buy. So that's what I buy. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching my video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon in the next one. Bye guys.